Okay, I have a scary question to ask. So how many of you after listening this uh, still are keen to apply for the bootcamp? Okay, thank God. <laughs> okay, so now uh, I'm going to quickly brief you, bring you through what is the application process for the third bootcamp, uh, Technics Bootcamp. So it's a pretty easy, not really easy, but simple. It's a two-step process where first you have to fill out an application form, second you have to complete a technical task. So how, how we are selecting people, uh, we want to support people who are women who we can really help to enter the industry. So ideally, this, you should have already tried some form of uh, programming. Um, if not, we will also guide you through basic programming skills to fulfill your technical task. So, so these are the important dates. So, oh, I need my laser. Okay. So, right now the application is already open on our website. I will show you how it works. So, so for, for people who want to apply or keen to apply, just fill out the application form, part of the application form for now, out of which those people who have applied, we will, we will send out information to uh, the, a, a series of three pre-bootcamp workshops. Why are we doing this? Because there is a technical task, but also, of course, we don't want to just leave you to suffer on your own. We're going to give you basic programming skills through the three workshops in order to help you fulfill your technical task. So having said that, what we noticed last batch was that a lot of, uh, there are some people who, um, who, doesn't, who don't want to join the bootcamp, but they still want to attend the workshop just for fun. And, and there are some people who want to join the bootcamp, but can't get to the workshops because of that. Which is why this time around, uh, fill up fill out the first part of the application form first. From there, we will let, let those women who have applied to attend the pre-bootcamp workshops where we will talk about, give, give you the skills, basic programming skills. So uh, this Friday, we also released a technical task. Last batch, we had, uh, we had a task was to create a simple application. What we realized that is, uh, it sounds very simple, but it's very vague. A lot of people struggle with what is the definition of done. They just keep doing, 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 and didn't realize that it's actually completed, like it's good enough. So we're, we're trying to refine more about uh, what is, what's, con what's the definition of done. Um, but well, another thing we realized is that a lot of people end up stumbling upon the same tutorial online. So they created the same exact looking apps, just in different shades of colors. Uh, so that wasn't... <laughs> That wasn't really helpful in help, helping us identify who are the one that uh, should really, can, could really benefit from the bootcamp. So which is why these are the two buckets that we need to refine what the technical task is about. So we'll take a little bit more time on that. So to also help you with the technical task, we'll be running two, one or two code clinic sessions where you can just come, basically it's like a clinic consultation style. You just come in, work on your app. If there's any questions, there'll be roaming mentors to help you out. And then we will be doing interview and also the selection process before starting the actual bootcamp. And then we also have a grad party. Uh, so grad party is something like a demo day. It's really helpful for getting the attention of uh, potential employers. So, Usually during the book the uh, grad party, I try to invite people who might be interested in, in getting interns um, or people who might be interest, interested in featuring female programmers. So these are the people in the audience. So, so think of it as a, as a platform for you to really showcase and market yourself. So I will quickly show you. So to, to apply for the Tech Ladies Bootcamp, go to this URL. Uh, I will also link it in the email that I'll send after the event. So, do you re in, on this page, you can find the button. It's pretty huge. Find the button, click on it. That will bring you to a form where you can fill up, um, basically read, read about it. Uh, make sure you fill out five days before the workshop that you want to attend. Then there's a really long form about who you are, uh, what are your motivation, uh, how, how can we help, how would you like to be helped. So these are pretty, uh, pretty straightforward. Okay, it's ending soon, I promise. So I think the last batch, they take about 15 to 20 minutes to fill up everything. So now you see this is a section two. You don't have to fill it up now, only by 3rd of July, because it talks about your technical task, which is why I flew by it pretty quickly. And then remember to submit. 
So once you click on the submit um, button, the, the, the app will now send you an email with a, this thing called a submission code. So using this code, you can come back to edit your application form. So you don't have to create from scratch. And if you want to change your answer, you can work on whatever you have submitted. So it should be pretty straightforward. If there's anything that you uh, have trouble with, you can always find me uh, on my email or just ping us on our Facebook page or join our Facebook group. Kind of everywhere. <laughs> OK, so this is, this, is the pre this is basically how you apply who who is involved in the next bootcamp and so what you can expect to build. So now I'm going to open up with five minutes for Q&A. So anyone is interested to have any question to ask? Anyone? Are you, okay, go for it. I had a question about the application process. Mm -hmm. There's so few places for the actual bootcamp. Um, how far can we actually participate in the sense of just one few process to be the next bootcamp as opposed to the next one? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. So if you fill up this application form, you will at least get a chance to attend the pre-bootcamp workshops. Um, thereafter, if you, it's still a good experience to try your hands on creating an application. And if you don't select that, you, have, you still have something to show off in your portfolio. We will, keep you, we will keep you in our database for sure. And we can also ping you for the next time round. Hmm. Any other questions? Or at which point do we actually start building it? Most likely going to be incremental. Yeah, going to be incremental. So there are some knowledge like how to use Git. It's going to apply for both teams. So we'll do it like a workshop style, one hour lecture. We'll teach you how to use Git. And thereafter, it's pretty much broken down to a team level. Like who is, who is uh, stronger at what, who wants to do what. Then it's built on top of that. Yes? Selection criteria and why there are only six people are going to be selected. Because you mentioned the last batch there are 20 plus. Oh, uh, so last batch, last batch we actually selected 15 women, so there was five projects um, and it killed me. So it was just a lot of on the administrative side of things because, and also the marketing side of things because we try, to, uh, we try to not just give you the technical skills but also sort of like position you in terms of the personal branding side. So, so 15 was uh, too much. Uh, I wasn't able to get a team to support that kind of growth. So this time around, I'll rather go back to basics. Do something smaller, but do it better. So it's, it can, I, I want to, I'd rather you know, focus more energy on, and on uh, less people, but do it better and can really help them succeed. In terms of the, um, the selection criteria, it's always still a work in progress. Because how do you know if someone, how, how can you predict if this woman, this woman can successfully enter the tech industry? It's still a work in progress, to be very honest. A lot of times it depends on um, the kind of app that, that you submit for your technical task. Because like I said, if it's, if it's something that you follow to a T of, of, uh, on something that you found online, does it mean that you, it's not showing that you really want it? You know what I mean? So, so that is, that is, but that, having said that, totally agree, it's, it's extremely sub subjective. There isn't like a hard science to how do you select, yeah. Um, definitely, we 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 uh, coin it as near zero. So so if this is like the first time you touch a terminal, it's probably it's, you're probably too early for it for this batch. Maybe maybe you want to come back for the next batch. So what kind of advice would you give people like people that have like zero experience, but we want to actually go into the tech industry? Like what can we do? Start now. So there are a lot of uh, free. There are a lot of free online resources. Every Wednesday, we have a study group. Uh, we are learning computer science. So it's, uh, it's, it's quite painful, but you do learn a lot in terms of the, of, uh, the basic foundation work. Also, like Clara mentioned, the Michael Harto book, that's a pretty good book for you to get started. So, so the, the point I'm trying to get is that there's a lot of free resources. Um, so just pick one and go with it. Join our Facebook group. If there's any question you don't understand, Post the question there, and I will usually tag those guys in to answer it for you. And also one last question. So yeah. it's $500 for the fee. Yeah. Right. Do you guys, uh, are you guys partners with SkillsFuture? No, because we're not, we're not a legal entity. 
And doing that takes a lot more work. So I was like, oh, do I really want to do that? I'd rather focus more on marketing and individual. Mm. Oh, but if anyone wants to volunteer to help me get that fixed out, I'm like, happy to have you. <laughs> okay, any other questions? Oh, sorry. This is slightly unrelated, but I realized you were talking about your Wednesday program yeah. as well. Like, are, are they already on track, or are they like on the fourth or fifth session, and so it's too late to join? Oh, so initially we tried to pace everybody together, and what I realized that we all are really slow. So okay. right now it's more free for all. As long as you're taking this course, just come. It's kind of. Uh, so it doesn't matter where you are. Doesn't like matter. Doesn't matter. The first one or the fifth one yeah, matter. yeah. Okay. We have people from like zero to. I think the furthest maybe is on a week four or week five. Okay. Yeah. You told me that, um, you told us that uh, the people who have a like, CS degree, although like the boot camp, and, uh, what did they say about like you know, how this kind of adds to, like, to the CS degree or how kind of different it is from that? How do they teach them in addition to what they kind of learn? So, in terms of the boot camp, so far, Avina is the only one with a CS, a former CS education background. The rest of the women all do not have. Yeah. Like, does she have anything to like, you know, say about like, kind of what's what's like the, the addition thing they kind of teach like teach her? Oh, actually, I don't know. I'm, maybe I'll ask her. Yeah. I'll ask her. Yeah. I would love yeah. to know. Okay. Uh huh. Just that. Yeah. Okay. Go for it. Really quick question. Because uh -huh. you said the length of the whole process is like increasing, right? So from like eight weeks to yeah. twelve weeks. And from judging from what you said earlier, the groups were also on the same size, so like three people on each team. Were the projects that were deployed not so ready for deployment, or was it now the projects are getting more complex? Um, so the projects has been always been uh, about similar standard. So in the in the first batch, it was eight weeks. What we realized that yeah, the we the the teams have some problems in finishing in delivering, so they have to they volunteer to stay back to finish it um, on their own time. Second batch, so that's why we extended it by two more weeks. Um, second batch, it was 10 weeks. What, what we learned is that 10 weeks straight was very tiring. So now it's the 12 weeks, there's actually two breaks in between where there's two Saturdays, there will be no, um, uh, no in-person sessions so you can catch your breath and really internalize what we have learned. And do we get to choose which project? Yes, you get, to choose, uh, you get to choose either one or you can choose any. So in, in the past, some of the candidates choose by the course they feel passionate about. Some candidates actually choose the coach they want to follow. So it, it depends. Is it open for, for any person with any visa status, or is it specific to Singaporeans and VRs? Or, I mean, like if I am on a dependent pass, is it okay for me to still apply for it? Or if we already know that dependent pass will not be you know, taken in? Yeah. So yeah, that's kind of like the, the advantage of us not being a legal entity, so we don't care. As long as you can legally be here during the duration, it's fine, we'll take you. Any other? Okay, if not, uh, if there's any other question, you can always come and, come and talk to me. I'll be hanging out here. And um, yeah, that is all we have for today. Thank you so much for coming. I hope you had a good evening. So we'll still have this space for about like, until 9.30. I'm not sure what time is it now. Until 10. Oh, 9 was 9.30.